Okay, so you're sitting in front of me, with narrowed brows, the sort of look that you'd only give a stranger. But that's okay. We only met a minute ago, and a minute is all I need. So I tried to establish a personal connection. I scanned the room, maybe see a picture of your kids on the coffee table, ask how old they are. Maybe I see a postcard from the Outer Banks on your refrigerator. I ask if you've ever been. It isn't small talk, but it damn sure has to look like it. See, if I'm going to sell you anything, I have to sell you on me first. And then once I've done that, it doesn't matter what I'm peddling. It's all the same shit. Excuse me, sir, I was just passing through your lovely neighborhood on this lovely day and well, I noticed your home. It has a loveliness itself that far exceeds both. Would it be all right if I had a moment of your time? I've just realized you and I have never been formally introduced. My name is Gordon Lyons. And you sell people things? A transaction occurs at the end, yes. But I like to think of myself as a conduit. A conduit between American manufacturers and American consumers. That is a sacred union, one that I am proud to officiate. Is that your wife? Girlfriend? Not anymore. Well, you know what they say about love. Once you've loved... I didn't know I could love. I never thought it would come my way, so I didn't prepare for it. It's work. That's for damn sure. Your entire world. Packing a suitcase and You living. ain't gonna win them all. But that's okay. No one remembers the strikeouts. They just remember I the whole run at the top together, of the ninth. But I was mistaken. You know the worst part of it all? Is that all those memories, they're just false now. I loved her, Gordon. I don't know what to do now. Well, it sounds like you're about to start dating again. Oh, excuse me, sir. Could I trouble you for a moment of your time? Are you going to try to sell me something? I have an offer for you. An important offer. Good morning.
nice ass you have here. That photo on the fridge, pretty gal. I know. Is she around? No. Mm -mm -mm. Way of the world, way of the world. Anyway, I bet you were wondering, why does a man carry two briefcases? I wasn't. I entered your house carrying two briefcases, but I hope to leave with just one. <laughs> Here you go, the latest and the greatest. When your clients see you walk into the office with this, they're gonna know the quality of man they're dealing with. It's TSA approved for carry-on. Combination lock, totally secure. Roomy, spacious interior that's expandable. Well, I don't know. I am um, <clears throat> I'm kind of accustomed to the briefcase I already have. Caution. Mm -hmm. Caution. You're a cautious man. Caution's a good quality to have in the world today. But if I may, this has a complete manufacturer's warranty. Any part that goes bad, immediately replaced. No questions asked. Well, one question. They'll need your mailing address to mail you the new one. <laughs> Does it come in blue? <laughs>